Let's take a closer look at the Funko Pop Vinyl Emperor Palpatine Special Edition figure number 573. Villa Veracino, living the Star Wars life. Hello there, and thanks for visiting the Villa Veracino YouTube channel. Today I'm going to take a closer look at the Funko Pop Vinyl of Emperor Palpatine number 573. Here in New Zealand today, it is the 11th of August, which is Ian McDiarmid's birthday. So to celebrate Emperor Palpatine himself, I decided to take a closer look and highlight one of my personal favourite Emperor Palpatine items in my collection. He isn't featured in collectibles quite as much as Darth Vader, so when I find something that I really do like, I do try to make sure that he is well represented in my collection, and this one really spoke to me. It is just so different to the standard Funko style. I really like pop art and comic art items, so I knew I had to add this one to my collection. As you can see, I have the vintage Return of the Jedi comic here from 1983, the same year as the film, because on the back of the box, we can see the image of the comic here, and that is because this style for the Funko Pop vinyl figure is taking artistic inspiration from this comic cover in terms of the colors and the sort of accent lines and the pose. So I think that is really fun. I love this idea. Hasbro has done this for a few figures, sort of doing this exaggerated color schemes and translating them into action figures, but I love to see Funko branching into this as well. I do love the sort of quirky colors and art styles of some of those vintage comics. So taking a look at the box, we can see that this is very different to standard Funko Pop vinyl boxes. This one is a special edition, as you can see with the sticker there, and I was very glad that I was able to find this locally, and it didn't take too much hunting down to find this one. I really like the dark styles here, and we sort of have this comic style of background behind all the text here on the front. On the side, we can see an image of the Funko design here, Emperor Palpatine 573, with this interesting pop art style red and yellow background. We can see some TIE Fighters there in the background. And then, of course, on the back, we have the image of the Funko next to the comic cover that inspired this particular design. So I'm very keen to take a closer look at the figure out of the box because I get the feeling I'm going to appreciate the style of this Funko much better once I get him out from behind that plastic. So let's take a closer look. So here we have the pop vinyl figure out of the box, and I'm really impressed with how much more detail I can see now that I can take a closer look. I love the fabric texture that I can see here on the hood and on the robe. I think that that is really fun. Not something I've seen on a lot of the other Star Wars pop vinyl figures I have. So of course Palpatine wears black robes, so we have these accent lines painted across his robes here, because of course in comic art you can't use black on black, it just disappears. So they've chosen accent colors for each of the three characters which are wearing black on this cover, and for Palpatine it's kind of this beige or brown tone color. For Luke they chose sort of a purple tone and a blue for Vader for their robes. Also in the comic cover we can see Palpatine's under robes are sort of blue, which we can see here also on the figure with these sort of blue robes peeking out here from the front. The comic kind of has green eyes here, very small, and he has green eyes here. Of course, nowadays we think of Palpatine and Sith in general as having yellow eyes. And of course, one of the big differences is the comic depicts Palpatine as sort of having like an orange magic or flames around his hands. Now in the modern era, we understand that as force lightning, which is generally depicted in blue and purple tones. But because this is inspired by the comic cover, we have this kind of yellow orange force lightning, which is really quite unique. I think it looks really interesting. I do love the way force lightning always translates in toys with the sort of translucent jaggedy lightning bolts. I think this looks really fun. Obviously it would be quite different to how we would see a standard Emperor Palpatine figure, but I think it is just so unique and it harks back to that sort of interesting color tones of that vintage comic. As you can see, I do like to collect vintage comics. I've got posters of this artwork. I think it is really quite fun. I love the vibrant, I love the quirkiness of them, especially 
sort of from the modern era looking back and seeing some of the interesting color choices that some of the comic artists chose back then. Nowadays everything is very to a set of rules for Star Wars characters, you know, the uh, Sith are uh, red lightsabers, you know, some of the lightsaber colors in those comics were really quite all over the place. But I really, I love the detail of this figure. I love those detail lines. I just love the texture that I can feel under my fingers here of this robe. It's so interesting. Most of my Funkos, you know, have helmets or hair, so they're very smooth. It's really quite interesting. And I just love the way that we can really get that big Palpatine hood, because, you know, Palpatine is all about wearing hoods with his outfits and we've even got some gold detailing there for his robe class which is generally black on his costume but we can see it is highlighted here in orange so again they have really looked at all of the tiny details from that common card and brought it into this Funko which I think is just so fun and I love the the sort of the wrinkled angry expression here that it's all sort of bumpy and accented with these really sort of angry eyes. It really is uh, a very angry evil Emperor Palpatine figure just with the sort of interesting uh, vintage comic art style there. I think this is a fabulous figure and personally I generally keep a lot of my special edition Funkos in their boxes maybe with a protector over it but these comic ones I think you need to take them out of the box to really appreciate all of this fabulous artistic detail. I think he looks really cool posed in front of his box so I think I will display this one out of the box. I think he looks so so very cool. So that is my look at the Funko Pop Vinyl Vintage Comic Art Inspired Emperor Palpatine number 573 very happy birthday to Ian McDermott and I wish him all the best and just thank him so much for all that he has brought to the Star Wars saga. I got to meet him once at a Star Wars celebration and it was an absolute honor. So there we are. Do check out our other videos for more Star Wars unboxings and adventures. Catch you in the next video and as always may the force be with you. If you enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a like check out our other videos and subscribe for alerts about new uploads. Thanks for watching and may the force be with you.